Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can use color theory to determine which colors will harmonize best with your natural beauty. This is part two in my new series on color harmony where I'm taking you through the process of creating your own personal color palette for your wardrobe. So when you're done watching this video, be sure to check out my playlist on color harmony in the description box below. Figuring out which colors suit you best is probably the most difficult and frustrating part of putting together your perfect wardrobe. I know I've struggled with the seasonal color analysis method, and so I'm hoping to break it down for you so that you can tailor it to your unique look. There are five main aspects of color analysis that you can take advantage of when choosing colors for your wardrobe or makeup. Undertone, value, intensity, contrast, and personal style. Let's start with the most important element, undertone. Your undertone is the underlying color temperature of your skin tone. Your undertone is either warm, cool, or neutral. If you're not sure about your undertone, check out the first video in this series on color harmony, where I'm talking about six different tests that you can do to help determine your undertone. In my opinion, your undertone is the most important feature to consider when putting together your wardrobe color palette. When you wear colors that are harmonious with your undertone, you automatically look more vibrant, bright, and healthy. It's also important to note that undertone is separate from skin tone. Having darker or lighter skin does not affect your undertone. Also, try not to confuse your undertone with your overtone. For example, if you have olive skin, you have a cool undertone, but a warm overtone. This gives those with olive skin tones a warmer overall look, but their cool undertone is still more important when it comes to choosing their best colors. When it comes to choosing colors for your wardrobe, your undertone determines the overall color family that you belong to. At a basic level, cool colors contain more blue, and warm colors contain more yellow. And don't let your color family make you feel restricted. There are warm and cool versions of almost any color out there. Here are some examples of color palettes using different versions of the same colors for cool and warm undertones. Now that you know your undertone, the next aspect of color analysis that we will look at is value. In color theory, value is defined as the relative lightness or darkness of a color. When it comes to choosing your perfect color palette, it's important to not only consider the value of your skin, but also the value of your hair and eyes. If you have light hair and dark eyes or vice versa, you might be lucky enough to look great in both dark and light colors, but more often than not your hair will be more dominant. If the overall coloring of your hair and eyes is medium to dark, you're most likely to look good in deeper colors. If your hair and eyes are medium to light, you're more likely to shine in lighter colors. Now that we've nailed down our undertone and value, let's look at intensity. Intensity refers to the saturation of your coloring. So your intensity will lie somewhere on a spectrum from soft and muted to bright and clear. Soft and muted colors have a low intensity, while bright and clear colors have a high intensity. To keep it simple, you should choose colors for your wardrobe that are a reflection of your natural level of intensity. Even when colors suit your undertone and value, they may look unnatural if they don't reflect your natural level of intensity. For example, highly saturated colors may cause muted skin tones to look dull by comparison, while soft colors will look serene and healthy. Next, we'll look at contrast. In step two, we determined the value of our hair, skin, and eye color, and now we can determine the relative contrast in our features. Do your hair and eye color differ strikingly from your skin color, or do you feel like you have a rather unified overall coloring? Someone with fair skin, blonde hair, and light eyes would have fairly low contrast. Similarly, someone with dark hair, dark skin, and dark eyes would also have low contrast. However, if you have light skin but dark eyes and dark hair, then you have high contrast. In general, my recommendation would be to choose colors that reflect your natural contrast. So if you have high contrast, such as light skin and dark hair, then dark colors may look really good on you. And if you have low contrast, sticking with colors that match the value of your overall coloring will look harmonious on you. A good rule of thumb is to match the value of your hair color. So if you have light hair, light colors will likely look good on you. And if you have dark hair, dark colors will likely look good on you. However, if you have very low contrast, you may look amazing in colors that are the opposite value of your overall coloring. For example, women with very dark skin, cool undertones, and dark hair often look great in cool icy shades. 
And the final concept to consider is your personal style. At the end of the day, your color preferences are more important than what you should or shouldn't wear according to color theory. However, I believe that any style can be reflected using colors from your perfect color palette. It's just a matter of choosing the right ones. For example, you might have a warm undertone and light coloring, but you might hate pastels. Choose earthy shades like soft brown, army green, rust red, or marine blue. And if you're still not sure which colors work well on you, just keep track of which colors you love best when you try them on. Then see if you can determine the undertone, value, intensity, and contrast that that color has. You may start to see a pattern where, for example, more saturated colors look great on you, or darker colors, lighter colors, whatever the trend may be, this is a great way to determine which colors are in your purpose perfect color palette. Keep a record of which colors look good on you, and then seek out similar colors with a similar undertone, value, intensity, or contrast. So in summary, your undertone determines which hues will look best on you, whether they be warm or cool. Intensity determines the saturation of those colors, whether it be highly saturated or more muted. Value determines the lightness or darkness of the color. And contrast informs the value and intensity of the colors that you choose whether they differ from your overall coloring or whether they blend in. Now I'd like to show you how you can use the concepts of undertone, intensity, value, and contrast to choose flattering makeup every time, even when you're shopping online. This portion of the video is in collaboration with Merit, who kindly gifted me several items from their collection, which I'm wearing today. Merit is a minimalist beauty brand which strives to create clean, high-performing products which are vegan and gentle on sensitive skin, among several other standards they uphold to ensure their products are good for you and the planet. Now I'm going to take you to Merit's website to show you how I chose some products for myself using the concepts that we've talked about today. Let's start with The Minimalist, which is a dual-purpose foundation and concealer. Selecting a foundation is all about undertone and value. Merit categorizes value as deep, deep tan, medium tan, medium, light, and fair. Take a look at the photos which go along with each color to determine which range of values you fall into. Then narrow down your selection by using your undertone. Note that yellow, golden, caramel, or peach undertones are warm undertones and red undertones are neutral. I have a medium skin tone with neutral undertones and so I chose the color Bisque. Now, if we look at the shade slick, which is a lip oil, this is where we can use undertone, intensity, and contrast to choose a color. First, and as always, I'll narrow down by undertone. Since I have a neutral undertone that leans slightly cool, I'll rule out all the warm tones. This would leave me with the options of taupe, pink beet, and deep berry. Taupe is a nude color with very low contrast in comparison to my skin. It may even reduce the contrast in my face because it's closer to my natural skin color than to my natural lip color. Pink Beet would probably maintain my natural contrast and enhance my natural lip color while being slightly muted, while Deep Berry will increase the contrast in my face because it is deeper and more intense than my natural lip color. If you have a lot of contrast in your natural coloring, then you may want to lean towards more contrasting lip color Colors, and you can tolerate darker mascaras and brow colors for everyday looks. Whereas if your natural contrast is low, go for low contrast makeup looks for every day and reserve contrasted looks for special occasions. In addition to using makeup to reflect your natural coloring, you can also use makeup to reflect the coloring in your outfits. If your clothing is very saturated in color, it may be more harmonious to go with a more saturated lip color or saturated eye makeup. And if your clothing has low contrast with your skin, go for muted and more natural makeup looks to create more harmony between between your makeup and your clothing. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned more about selecting colors based on your natural undertone, value, intensity, and contrast. And if you're interested in trying out some makeup from Merit, I would really appreciate it if you would use my affiliate link in the description box below. If you choose to make a purchase using my link, I'll earn a small commission which goes a long way in growing and supporting my channel. If you like this video, please give it a like. I'd love to help you out with color analysis in the comments down below. And please subscribe for more capsule wardrobe and personal style videos from me every Wednesday. The next video in this series will be showing you how to create a complete color palette for your capsule wardrobe. See you in the next one.